So good day guys, uh, Richard here again, your tech chef. I'm bringing you another video, um, this time a little bit more of an in-depth look at the new F7 board that's just been released by Matex Systems. It's called an F722 STD, which I guess is the standard and not sexually transmitted disease. Um, on the package, as you can see, it's an F7, a 32F722 board. Uh, 32k gyro um, comes fitted with an OSD system uh, has a SD card slot and also comes with a barometer so you could effectively use this for a system where you could use iNav or one of the autonomous flight systems which sounds like really good news oops <laughs> don't be throwing stuff around okay so um, in order to have a good and a better look at this um, let's go in closer and see what we can see. Right, so as I said, <clears throat> excuse me, so as I said, this is the new F7 board by Matex Systems. It's uh, an F7 chip. It's one of the first F7 chips that Matex Systems have brought out now. Um, it's been long awaited. It's been in the pipeline for ages. Um, the Beta Flight team were were trying to map the system and obviously set up the target for it. And it's been a, some time in the making, but at long last it's here. So let's have a look a little bit at what's on the board or what the board can do. Um, so it has a five volt regulable regulator built in, um, and you'll see little five volt pads over here. Also has another 5 volt pad system there. 3.3 volt and 5 volt up the top here, um, which would be for your satellite um, spectrum satellite receivers or any receiver that would need a 3.3 volt or any peripheral, in fact, that would need a 3.3 volt. Has an RSSI pad, a current voltage, a current sensor um, pad here, but we'll talk a little bit about current sensor in a minute. VCC pad, ground, 3 volt and 5 volt, ground, a TX1 and an RX1. So this board comes with 5 UARTs um, and the UARTs are assignable once you start setting up the peripherals and I'll explain a little bit how that works in a sec. So S5 and S6 pads are for a soft serial um, configuration. Also the S6 pad could be used for camera control so you could control the OSD on the camera and the settings on the camera via um, your OSD and transmitter on the corners um, are the pads for your ESC signals including a ground so you get ground S3 ground S2 and so forth all the way around for S1 and anything right so on this side of the board is a ground uh, camera 5 volt so you could use that for a 5 volt camera if you needed a 5 volt camera output um, a VTX ground and um, signal so you could connect your VTX here and also um, this board will enable you to connect up your um, smart port or smart telemetry system as well as being able to control your VTX via um, again OSD or through the transmitter. Uh, the DAC is a the programming system where you could use to, to program it to I, I2C and a little obviously the push button which will allow you to set the board into DFU mode should you need to do so to flash it. Um, the, the board doesn't come with a uh, a current sensor but what it does have are um, the SDA SLC pads over here for a compass again another ground and 5 volt pad at the bottom here and then obviously all of the signals signals 1 through 4 for the signal ESCs another 5 volt pad and ground on the bottom of the board the SDC SD slot so that you could do your black box recordings and obviously the little port which will allow you to connect this board 
to one of the Matic system hubs via a ribbon cable. Um, really impressed with this little board, really impressed with the way it's been done, um, really clean and, and neatly um, placed. As you can see everything is genuinely square to the board, all the little chips are perfectly aligned, there's no misalignment, really really well made board. OSD chip on the side here, little 5 volt regulator there. Yeah, very super impressed, really really impressed. So the nice thing about this, it comes, you can fit a buzzer um, if you have one. Um, I have a variation of different buzzers. Let's take it out to set for this one here, which is a um, has a programmable LED taillight system and a buzzer. Or you could use the little standalone Matic Systems buzzer. Really, really loud, super loud little buzzers. And that could be connected also to that board. For me, the perfect thing would be, obviously, if we connected it all up together to one of the hubs. Now, this is the FC hub with um, built-in VTX. As you can see on the back, the VTX is built in. So what I'm going to do is connect up that hub to the, F the F7 board via a ribbon cable. And I'll show you just how quickly and how easy it is to connect this to the ribbon cables. Um, not many, a lot of people are, you know, there's a different train of thought, I guess, with who does what. But I'm super impressed with these ribbon cables. It makes it so tidy, um, so little mess and so little fuss. And also very little having in the way of having to wire stuff up. So if you look at the little board, you pull these two little black clips away from the white plug, slide the little ribbon in so that it locates right at the bottom and then push the two little black clips back in so that it seats nicely and it's held on. And again the same on the other side. So you would do exactly the same, pull the two little plugs out, two, these two little black plugs, pull them out like so, slide the ribbon cable in, make sure it seats properly and then push the two back and that's it that's pretty much connected and let me tell you something it makes for such an easy build um, everything now is done through the ribbon cable including the fifth uart which was never included and, and matic always had this in mind when they were building the the ribbon system so they always left one of the uarts in the ribbon so that you could use that ribbon to connect so now the only thing we need to really connect from here is the camera, the VTX, and the receiver. Everything else is already connected. And obviously we just connect the MC, MP, uh, MCPX um, for the VTX antenna. And that's it. It's pretty much done. So in the next, in another, in probably in the next build, or in the next video, I'll be doing a complete build with the little buzzer and LED system, um, the F7 board, the F722, and the Matic FC Hub VTX. I look forward to be doing this build soon. And if you like, and as usual, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe below. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. And as I always say, fly carbon butterfly. Fly.